All right, everybody, welcome to On The Screws Golf. We'd like to thank you for being here on the stream. So what? And welcome to DC F&P, baby. And again, thank you so much for attending, and please consider subscribing. All right, everybody, welcome back to On The Screws Golf, Spring Major Edition, Advanced Rookie Level. So today, what we're going to do is walk through holes number two, number four, and number seven, which are all of the par threes on this course. We're going to give you the adjustments that we've used here at On The Screws Golf to make a hole-in-one on each of these different par threes on one account, all right? So we're able to shoot minus 18 on this account today and uh, with the help of a hole-in-one on each of the following par threes. So with that moving forward, let's get into the first hole, which is hole number two. And here we go. So with hole number two, we're going to go ahead with a kingmaker ball to cut down the wind. Obviously, the best thing you can do on any par three is to cut down the wind and give you the best opportunity for a low wind adjustment or ring adjustment. So you'll see we're going to play this at plus 10% max, 5.1 top spin, one left spin, and then as you adjust here, you're going to go ahead and subtract 0.1 rings from your total adjustment. So, for instance, on 2.3, this was a 9, uh, 0.9 ring adjustment, so we only adjusted 0.8. So, 0.9 minus 0.1 is 0.8 total ring adjustment. Hit it perfect. Nice soft rollout. And the 5.1 top speed is, uh, excuse me, top spin is the perfect speed. One left spin, and then, of course, minus the 0 0.1. So one more time. Goliath 6, 7, and 8, they all work, just different ball guides. You can go Titan, you can go Navigator, you can go Kingmaker. You can go any ball you, uh, you really want. It's just... It all depends on the different wind values and how much, how many rings you actually want to have to adjust. So 10% at max, rough bump, 5.1 topspin, one left spin, minus 0.1 off your adjustment for the wind. Okay, let's uh, head on over to hole number four. All right, here we are at hole number four of the Chateau Le Vent course. And uh, we're going to play a no-move target on this um, par three here. Now, again, for any of you, I'm sure you all know, but it's somebody out there may not know what a no-move target is or an NMT. I had to ask the first time, say, what's NMT mean? Well, it's a no-move target. So what that means is when the game opens up, you're not going to move your target at all. It's just going to sit there. What you are going to do is you're going to go into your app, find your win value, and then you're going to be prepared for that. Then you're going to use the spins that you want to use, appropriate make your spin adjustments, and then adjust for your wind and then take your shot. That's basically what no move target is. So let's get into it here. Hole number four, par three, no move target. So we're going to go here with a Sniper 7, no move target, Navigator. 3.5 backspin, 0.7 left spin. I know those are tough adjustments, but you have to do your very best on that. You're going to play this at plus 25% mid, medium adjustment. So 2.6 miles an hour. You're going to adjust it. I think it was like... Um, 1.8, 1.9, something like that. Um, and then, again, you're going to go ahead and take your shot by hitting perfect here. So, fortunately, we're not using a power ball here. We're just using a navigator. The wind was appropriate and playing uh, in our favor. And you can see that 3.5 back, 0.7 left at plus 25% mid adjustment really with a no move target worked out beautifully for us okay one last time no move target navigator ball sniper seven 3.5 backspin 0.7 left spin off of 25 percent mid adjustment hit it perfect results 
are clear that you can give yourself an opportunity for your second hole in one on this course. All right, we'll see you on hole number seven, the final part three for this video. All right, everybody, welcome back to uh, On This Cruise Golf here, Spring Major a trio of hole-in-ones for the par threes. This is the last and final par three of this course, hole number seven. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the famous rough bump. So let's get into it. All right, hole seven, par three. We're gonna go ahead with the sniper seven again. We're gonna go three backspin, no side spin. Aim the ball guide directly in the hole, and that yellow ring is just snipping over into the fairway, cutting the fairway and that rough line on the top, as you can see. 1.9 ring adjustment is 0.9 adjustment. We'll move that over softly, delicately, and precisely. And then, of course, with the Kingmaker knocking down the wind, you want the power to get it up there, but also knock the wind down at the same time. You hit it perfect, nice little rollout, and pretty much dead center perfect. Hole in one. So again, we've been able to go through all three par threes, but before we uh, end this, I wanna go through this adjustment one last time. Sniper five through 10, they're all gonna work. Kingmaker ball, 15% minimum adjustment. 15% minimum adjustment off of your 1.9 wind was a 0 0.9 ring adjustment, okay? Three backspin, no side spin, rough bump, aim the ball guide directly in the hole, 15% min kingmaker, hit it perfect, give yourself the opportunity for the hole in one. All right, everybody. Again, most importantly here, I want to say thank you to for all of you visiting the channel, supporting the channel, whether you're subscribing, whether you're a member, whether you just come by and say hello during a stream or put a comment in or a thumbs up. Much appreciated. We always, as streamers, learn from your feedback. I want to, again, wish you all the very best in the qualification rounds moving forward for the spring major here and then into the openers and then the weekend rounds as well. So until we see you on the course, I wish you all the very best and thanks for stopping by and watching the video. All right, everybody, welcome to On The Screws Golf. We'd like to thank you for being here on the stream. So what? And welcome to DC F&P, baby. And again, thank you so much for attending, and please consider subscribing.